Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching today's Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. I want to begin first with some of the newest data here from GRACE, uh, satellite-based root zone soil moisture, and there's some interesting things to, to pick out about this. When we start to examine the map closely, some of the key growing areas in Argentina, so let's just highlight this region, or in southern Brazil, right in through this corridor, have actually, as of late, over the last month or so, seen better precipitation. We know about the flooding that's been in Paraguay as well. You can see the high values in through here. But we do notice that as you get up into Brazil's far northern growing areas, right in through here, and that does clip through parts of Mato Grosso, we do see some uh, very low values in, in this particular region. Now, as of late, heavy rainfall over here in Brazil's eastern growing area have made up for some deficits that we'd seen over the last several months. I'd been in an area that had been quite dry. And just using here the latest data from the CPC, uh, we can see the wetter conditions in those areas we just highlighted. So here, going right into this corridor uh, in, in Argentina, and even some of the drier conditions that we have seen lately in, in um, Buenos Aires province, that area is going to be largely corrected for with some of the rains that are coming. Now, as of late, like I said, some heavy precipitation here in Brazil's east, but we still notice that through Mato Grosso uh, over the last month or so, there's been a deficit of three to five inches of rainfall, which means the monsoon up until this point has really been reluctant at bringing in less than, um, you know, the, the scatter type precipitation, more of the ubiquitous rainfall. Now, let's keep that in mind as we go back and continue with our model verification. So from February 3rd to February 10th, this is the satellite derived total accumulated precipitation. And what I find a bit more instructive is to back off everything under two inches. And so if we just look at where the heaviest corridor of rainfall was, again, you see in Brazil's east, more scattered precipitation, northern Mato Grosso, getting over toward Tocantins, and then very heavy rainfall in the Amazon. This is an area, too, that has uh, seen quite a bit of heavy precipitation. And from last week's forecast for this previous week, one area that was missed out on uh, was down here, like I said, again, in, in Buenos Aires, where the models had predicted weather, weather, what, excuse me, wetter weather, but it didn't really manifest itself there just yet. But again, this was the forecast I gave last Monday for the past week, and this would be the verification on that heavier rainfall. We see that the European model's done actually quite a good job, picking up on the drier than normal conditions in Brazil's south, getting into central Argentina here, but the wetter conditions surrounding it there. Now, given that, where are we going over this next week? We're going to watch a high-pressure cell try to park itself just off the coast here. And with that high-pressure cell in place, we will continue to be bringing in better chances of storms here in parts of Rio Grande do Sul, Uruguay, and the Buenos Aires province. But notice, when you get them into the interior of Argentina, right in through here, drier conditions are forecast because of uh, the, the lack of, of a front passing through the area to really trigger the development of showers and thunderstorms. But we do see that the monsoon, uh, which has really struggled so much of the early part of this year, seems to be coming on quite wet through the next week. And so this is total accumulated precipitation, and we're in millimeters here. So you see, once you get up here closer to 100, that's about four inches of rainfall. But it's more instructive to see this compared to normal. And that's what you've got here. So this is the next seven day precipitation departure from normal. So again, I want to highlight that drier region getting more precipitation there. We are drier in parts of southern Brazil into Paraguay and then into Argentina compared to normal. Very wet conditions continue here where we are trying to very quickly harvest a, a first crop of soybeans and put in the safrina crop. Now looking forward beyond this upcoming week, the week two pattern shows the same features. Do you notice that? Very wet in Brazil's northern, central, and eastern growing areas, drier in the south, and drier in pockets of Argentina. Now, watching the long-term model runs continue to forecast this area, the European model is the outlier. While I've shown you that it's the best performer in the near term, I'll just say it's the outlier in forecasting very dry conditions down here in southern Brazil getting into Argentina moving forward with keeping the very wet conditions to the north. And we begin to ask ourselves several questions. Is the model just hanging on to persistence? Is the model actually picking up on the features that would make this dry? For example, is it keeping the storm track very far to the south, our troughs deeper to the south, preventing more fronts passing through Argentina, keeping the pressure higher there 
compared to normal, which is why we see the drier conditions. Do we have better upper level support due to movement in the MJO over the Amazon, over northern Brazil and eastern Brazil? And is the La Nina playing a, a role in this as well? Because while we do continue to see a big push of trade winds over here in this part of the central Pacific Ocean, really getting over to the western Pacific Ocean, is that going to be supportive of getting better rising motion here and therefore sinking motion over parts of Argentina? We would call that maybe MJO phase seven and eight. That is yet to be seen. So what I've been working on here, and I'm going to show you the results of this next week, is reconstructing what those dry marches look like in Argentina so that we can maybe understand what patterns to correlate against. So I look forward to presenting that to you on Monday, but I just want to stress again, uh, when I show you this updated map on Monday, we want to look to see if the trend continues with drier south, wet or north, working our way through the next 30 to 40 days. All right. I appreciate your attention today. We'll talk to you again on Monday. Thanks.